good morning. I'm Mary Ellen and today I'm here to talk to you about my favorites and my not so favorites from the month of March to do some updates, just some chit chat and uh, you just never know what I'll do today. You just never know. The first thing I want to talk about is I want to thank all of my viewers. I know I have the best viewers on YouTube that leave the kindest messages. I appreciate all the thoughts, the vibes, the prayers that uh, we've received and what this is going up on April 3rd and this week we still have some preoperative tests but I can tell you that we're getting closer and closer and the next video I plan to upload will be I think April 24th. I don't know that I can squeeze one in before that but that's what my plan is. I wanted to update you on a little bit on my health journey and the reason I do this, since I started YouTube, I've had this heart issue and some of you have followed me along the way. I had my allergy test done in Carbondale, Illinois by a Dr. Lehman, L-E-H-M-A-N. He was wonderful. I'd never been to an allergist, never had any uh, testing. And he put two strips down my back and then there were like probably 12 different things that he uh, tested for. Couldn't just do for nickel. Well, lo and behold, I am not allergic to nickel. He said I probably had been in the past, but I'm no longer allergic. And I asked him why I could not wear jewelry that wasn't 14 karat gold or sterling silver. And he said, well, when was the last time you tried it? And I went, oh, probably five years ago, maybe longer than that. And he said, well, you might want to try it again. So we'll see. But he did say that my skin is highly reactive. It may have been another metal that he didn't test for that I was sensitive to, but I found that really interesting. So that means that probably in a year when it is available in Southern Illinois, that I will get an amulet device placed in the appendage in my heart. And I'll put a, a link down below of what that is if you want to know, but it'll allow me to quit taking my Coumadin and that will just make me happy because I won't be afraid of falling like I am now. And I had mentioned I have ordered several lip plumpers. I have to figure out how I'm going to do this. I may work on that while I'm off because I need to put one on and wait a little bit of time and then do a before and after photo. Well, I can't do that all in one day, so I need to, you know, I, I wanna really see if they work or not. So that will be in a future video. And the first thing, I'm just gonna talk about things that make have made me happy this month, things that have made it easier, and I'll just go ahead and get started. And my first thing is a lead pencil, a number two lead pencil. They always work. I have an old electric sharpener that I bought when my kids were in grade school and I had a bunch of pencils. And I mean, I don't know when I bought them, but I had a bunch of them and I had them all in one area and I went and I sharpened them. I put some in our vehicles. I never have to worry about if the pen got cold or whatever, but I have really been happy with pencils. So that's my very first thing. Probably, I've always been a very, very good sleeper because sleep is a priority. You know, I do like ri little rituals and I've always been a good sleeper. But the last two years, I haven't been. <laughs> I have been waking up a lot. I get enough sleep, but it hasn't been like it used to be. Well, I realized when I'd wake up, I'd look at the clock. And so I'd have to kind of rally up and kind of look for the clock and see what time it was because I didn't know if it was getting close to time to get up. So what I decided to do and to try, and it works, I would, I would say my phone is in my room getting charged at night, and I'll say, hey Siri, what time is it? And she will answer me. It is amazing, I can keep my eyes shut. If you have one of those um, Echo Dots, you can do the same thing. It really has made a difference. So if I don't have to open my eyes, I can get back to sleep a lot quicker. I don't know if I mentioned, but there is not any makeup in here. I do have some new makeup that I'll talk about whenever I try it, but it, not in this video. I've been really interested in my freezer, and I have a chest freezer. It's a small chest freezer. Some of you remember when I put it in tote bags, and that worked for me, but not for Jim. And then I bought some big five-gallon bags. Well, I measured. I had one little... I don't know what you call it, basket that was in my freezer that came with it. And I bought my freezer 25 years ago. And I measured it and I went to Amazon and I got three of these. So I can have all three that go across my freezer. 
when I want something underneath, I just take one out. And I didn't know, I didn't, I was just really happy to find these. And this one didn't fit in because I have, you know, I already had one and I got a set of three. So this one I just have in, in like my little pantry and I have things in there. Really, I have my Nespresso uh, things in there and I'm just happy to have it. This is the size of, and these I've reused, I've used and reused these, and here's the size of the five gallon bag. And what I do, I would put my meat in there or whatever I was freezing and I'd roll it down and I'd put a clip, but more times than not, it was too heavy. So what I have now, it, I love these, and they're gonna last me a long time because the plastic is really good. But these are Ziploc bags, they're called they're large. They have a pleat on the bottom. I don't write on them because I can see exactly what's in there. But what's so, so nice, I can just lift it out and put it aside, lift it out and put it aside until I get to the bottom. I hate having to take everything out, but this just makes it so easy. So it really did make me happy. My mother died in 2010. And prior to that, she I was always the one who set up her medicines. And she was very particular when she took her medicines, which is good, but you know, some, anyway, it is good. So we, I needed one that had morning, noon, afternoon, and evening because she took her Coumadin in the late afternoon. So I bought this for her and probably, she probably used it five or more years and she loved it. And so you can still hear, I have my medication set up in here, but I keep thinking, how many times are these gonna open and shut? How many times? But so far they're doing really well. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna show you what I found. I found the exact same one. And what I like about it, I don't, I just take medicine twice a day. So I have this in my kitchen. This is my first week, second week, third week, and fourth week. So you just open this up, you can take this out, you can fill it all up, and then put this back in and snap it. And I was very, like I said, I'm happy to get it. So I not only did I order one, I ordered two. I had to take a heart medicine and a supplement that was ordered by the cardiologist. And this is what I was using, something only for two weeks. This doesn't come out. And I didn't like the way it was set up. It's like Sunday through Saturday. And then over here, it's Sunday through Saturday going this way. So it, sometimes it got confusing. So I have one of these that I keep in my bedside drawer and I put my medication and do it for, instead of two weeks, do it for four weeks and I'm done and I'm happy and I'm so glad that they still make this. I placed an order to, I think it was Walgreens or CVS. It was Walgreens and I got a little packet in there and there was something, it was chapstick, total hydration and it was in eucalyptus mint. Well, I don't like chapstick. I don't like, but what is that in the orange tube? I can't even think of it right now. I'll put it on the screen. Carmex. I don't like the way that feels on my lips. And I tried this and it is wonderful. It's chapstick total hydration, 100% natural lip care. I liked it so much. I went on Amazon and I ordered one, the same chapstick total hydration in Merlot. And here's the color, it looks really dark. I don't have it on today, but it's really just a sheer wash of color. And it's a little bit brown for me, but it feels good. And, and I was just happy to find a chapstick that actually worked for me. I placed a very small order to Sephora and I got free shipping and handling, but I also got this and I got this free and it is Sense to Live In. What I love about it, you can lift the tab up you can smell the scent, you can rub your wrist on it and smell it on yourself, but this doesn't even have a scent. So I had never seen anything like this and there were several things I wanted to try, but I don't like to go shopping. I have not got liked to go shopping my whole life, to tell you the truth. I'm, I'm somebody that likes to order online and that's really hard to do because with scents, you know, you really need to, to be there so anyway, I thought this was a real cool way and I can smell what I wanted to smell. I think there's 11 or 12 cents in here, but I thought that was very smart packaging. In the month of March, I had my roots covered and uh, my hair trimmed. My hairstylist has been mine for 30 years and she knows my hair very well. And she found that my hair has gotten so much thicker. I started the Revita Lash 
enhancing foam in September. I told you like at three months, I could barely tell it. Well, like when I started derma rolling my hair right up in here, it didn't take long. I could run my fingers through it like this and I could feel the little stubbles. And do, I don't know if you remember if you ever had a permanent or not. I've had a couple way back in the day and it broke off your hair <laughs> and you could feel that stubble. Well, with this, you, could, you couldn't feel any stubble and it did not come in in clumps. You know, it was hard to, say, to see. I'm gonna put something in here showing you how much more hair I have. In fact, I have gone down to, instead of one pump in two different places, I'm doing one pump right down the middle, right here. And I started that on March 15th. I don't tease my hair. I don't put heat to the roots. I don't use hairspray. I treat my hair really well. I used to not. I just yank out those rubber bands and, you know, just tear out the tangles with a comb. But I do everything I can to keep my hair in as good condition as it possibly can. I use, I'm not going to get into what I use, but I know I don't have any hair breakage. And it's gotten so thick, it's kind of messed up my part right here. It, so anyway, my hope, since it's so expensive, my hope now is to be able to use one pump every other day to maintain it. And I'm sorry, I still can't tell you if that grande hair has thickened up this area because I can't see the hair yet. She said she'd look for it the next time, but I'm really happy with this side. So we'll see about the, the grande hair. And I will list everything below that I'm talking about if I can. Once I get done editing a video, <laughs> I hate to look at it again, but I will do that so I can list whatever I'm talking about. You know I like built bars and I like built puffs. And because of you, I received the banana cream pie free from all the points from you all using my link. I absolutely love them. I've ordered and I've had also, they have another one that is delicious. It's the brownie puffs. Oh my gosh, brownie batter puffs, delicious. To me, this is candy. There is a difference in the size of the built puff puffs and the built bars. And I've, I've written this down, so I can't commit, I can't commit anything to memory these days. The built puffs are 1.41 ounces and the built bars are 1.73. They both really have about the same amount of calories, same amount of protein. The built puffs does not, they do not have fiber. So for me, this is a healthy treat. I enjoy them and I'm really happy that they are making additions and they have quite a few puffs on their website and they're really good. I just got a email today that I could take 20% off an order. So once you've ordered, you'll get the good emails. A friend of mine got a new iPhone. She never used an iPhone. She used a flip phone. She really did not, didn't really feel comfortable. And I said, well, the only thing you need to know first is how to make phone calls. So we know how to make phone calls. So I thought, well, I'm gonna search YouTube and see if I can find somebody that explains this very well. And I found a wonderful person. And his name is Rich Bolin, and I will link his channel below. And he does tips for iPhones, iPads, and it's tips for seniors. And it's not condescending in any way. You know, sometimes Sometimes it's a little condescending, but it's not. And I watched the videos before I sent them to her, and I learned some things that I had even, I, I did, either I didn't know or I had forgotten. But he has some excellent videos, and I'm sure there's somebody out there that is just as good on Android devices. And before uh, I do my not-so-favorites, I want to say, if you're still here, this is going to be a giveaway. This is only the fifth video I have uploaded this year. And for some reason, people are watching longer. They must not be fast forwarding it, but I have had an increase in revenue from people watching my videos, which absolutely shocks me. Sometimes an older video will get recommended and I'll get more views on that. But I really do think people are watching more from the beginning to the end and they're watching it at real time, on real time. Well, I have shared with you in the past that I always, whatever I make in a month, in uh, two months, whatever, 
I put that aside and that's what I do use it for giveaways because I wouldn't earn one cent if it wasn't for you. If anybody, if you didn't use my links, if you didn't watch my videos, I wouldn't earn anything. So today I have three $100 e-gift cards that I want to give away. And I'm going to be probably a little bit more particular. I'm going to put a video up here on uh, when I got scammed the last time I did. Yeah, so I am going to probably, it'll be someplace like for Walmart or Target or uh, Sephora, any place I can buy an e-gift card. And I'm just really excited to do this because I want to thank you. That way you can buy whatever you want. It may be groceries, it may be makeup, it may be clothing. I don't know what people need. So I do like to give away cash. And I'm going to announce it in my next giveaway. I'm going to announce the winners the next time I upload one. And all you have to do is be 18 years old or older. That is it. You don't have to be subscribed. You don't have to give me a thumbs up. And in the comment section below, you need to leave a comment. And let me think, oh, just tell me about where you live. If like I live in Southern Illinois and uh, the weather is has been really nice. And you know, if you wanna tell me how the weather has been at your place, I'd like to know that. But just a general idea, because sometimes I forget where people are from. I do know where a lot of you are from, but I've gotten some new subscribers. So that would be good for me and I would enjoy that. And because this is a giveaway, I cannot reply to comments. Now I'm gonna talk about what I haven't liked and the TV shows that I've liked. When I thought about it, I thought this, I guess, has to be a favorite because it has helped Jim so much. It is a $25 hair trimming system. It is rechargeable. I've never had to charge it. I think I got it like last fall. I'm not positive, but I've had it a long time. It has this. I only use two of the clips that go on and I use a number two and a number eight. I watched a video on how to cut hair because he hasn't been able to go get his hair cut. It has a, a charger, some oil, and a comb. So what's been kind of good, I've been getting better <laughs> more often I do it. So, But I think I'm going to be the one that always cuts Jim's hair. He's, he's really liking it. I also got a really good cape and that helps. I uh, We'll either go outside or I'll do it in the front part of my living room, put an old sheet underneath there and just trim away. And this was highly rated and has good Velcro and he doesn't get it on him and he likes that. What else did, oh, I didn't like having to put my nice furry unhide blanket up for the year. That made me sad. Of course, I'm gonna miss my pajamas. There was something else I didn't like. Oh, and I never liked the time change. I don't, I like, I just wish we'd be on standard time all the time, just for me. My body likes that best. And I found a special for HBO and it's $7.49 a month if you do it for six months. So I have really been enjoying The Gilded Age. I'm, I still have some episodes to watch, but I've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed, I always have Netflix and I have the $9.99 uh, version of it and that means you can just watch it on one television you can watch it on any TV but only one person can watch it at a time and on Netflix I watched Maids M-A-I-D-S I the first couple episodes were kind of it, it it didn't it didn't grab me I've got to be grabbed because my mind wanders so badly and it did grab me and I would hope they would come up with another season. They won't have to, but I, I enjoyed it a lot. And then I also enjoyed Inventing Anna and it grabbed me from the very beginning. There's several shows that I am recording on the DVR, but those are, I haven't been watching a lot of TV. But as you know, with God in my life, it is all good. Thank you all for your time, and for just taking the time out to watch my videos, to leave a comment. It is appreciated more than you know, and that's why I love to do the giveaways, to let you know how much I appreciate you. I will see you in my next video. Take care. And I plan on, we're, 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 we're still not going anywhere. Uh, <laughs> so I just thought I'd let you know about that. <clears throat> In the month of March, I had my roots trimmed and I had, <laughs> but I just want to, I just,